Hey guys, I'm doing another video today. I just want to get on a few things. And what I wanted to get on was basically, um, some people have questions about the whole prodigal thing and what's this and what's that. Um, I'm, I'm seeing in the uh, king of spouse in the prodigal community. Um, I just want to talk about basically how sometimes, um, uh, uh, you're not exactly this video might not be for you and what I mean by the video might not be for you it's like okay so say this say that you might be a prodigal but you're not married you're still a prodigal if that person done left for many as reasons or that person's doing stuff for other reasons um so you know or you're the prodigal and you left for certain reasons if you're married or not king of spouses that's another one. Um, you might be a keen on spouse, but you don't know them. You might be a keen on spouse, but you do know them and y'all having friction. Don't mean you're a prodigal. And it also don't mean that um, the situation that y'all have uh, will turn y'all into that either. So you're not a prodigal if you're having issues with your keen on spouse. And it doesn't mean you're going to become a prodigal if you're having issues with your keen on spouse that you just met. Um you know, stuff like that. So everybody's having all different situations that are going on. Um, so I just wanted to say that because I'm looking at the comments and stuff like that. And I appreciate the feedback and the, co and, you know, telling me, asking me stuff so I can go talk to the father, then come back to y'all and be like, Hey, do, do, do. So <laughs> yeah, you are, um, we're just watching this video today. Um, this is a person that already know their kingdom spouses and this is for prodigals as well so but yes so this is that kind of video okay just wanted to say that and another thing i wanted to say you don't have a thousand kingdom spouses okay and you don't have a thousand prodigals unless god <laughs> you know what i'm saying you don't have a lot so unless God gives you a, another one, if the prodigal is not acting right or the kingdom spouse is not acting right, you get another one. You know what I'm saying? If you have having issues with your kingdom spouse that you just met and it's not going too well, but y'all didn't go into the prodigal standpoint yet. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's all kind of um, basically all kind of levels to this. So, you know, um, all I can do is just help you out with that. Um yeah, so that doesn't mean, um, because God will give you another spouse if that's not working out. People don't really talk about that enough, but his will will be done. And that's Matthew 6, 10. And if this prodigal that you have is not acting like a person that wants to be a keen of spouse and if the keen of spouse that you met is acting like they don't want to be a keen of spouse, then it will go into um, another person's hand that been asking for a wife, been asking for a husband, and boom, because everything has its time, and God don't have time waiting on you, okay, <laughs> forever and ever and ever, okay, we're waiting on him, he's waiting on you, but he ain't gonna do it forever, and I just wanted to say that, because a lot of people think that that's gonna keep going and going and going, and it's not, just wanted to say that, okay, yes, just wanted to say that, I don't know why this lighting looks like this today, but I guess we can work with it. I don't know what's up with this lighting today. Mm -mm. Anyway, so, <laughs> so, I bet. So, this is the video, The Boys, Dial My Heart. All right, so let's get it. Oh, it's 16 right now. That's crazy. Look at that. You can see that. My phone's so, ugh. Hold on, let me see if I can pick that. Okay. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh, let me see that. I don't know. Um, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yes, yeah, the six ten. So that's confirmation for me right there. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Um, on that part. So y'all had no confusion. Like, do I got another king spell? Do do I got this? Do I got that? If God is showing you one person right now. And that person is not acting right. Then um, you should ask. 
you know, if you having curiosities about it. Um, but if God is showing you the still the same person, then that's who it is. The same thing that goes with the kingdom spouse, you get them. And, um, or before I've, I also wanted to say this too, even before you meet the person, I also wanted to say that as well, even before you meet the kingdom spouse, I really wanted to say that actually, um, even before you meet the kingdom spouse, um, if you're with them and stuff, and it's just like, before you get with them, I meant to say, and, um, God is telling you on the side that they're not ready for this and not ready for that. And, and they're acting up, they're still doing this. They still being worldly. They still, then it's a possible chance that <clears throat> it's another kingdom spouse for you as well. Um, that's what I also wanted to say. Oh my goodness. Look at these gnats out here. I am shook if, well, I don't go outside a lot. Like, dude, I do not deal with gnats because gnats can get in your hair and make a little, and, 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 and make animals, I mean, not animals, uh, some more insect. And not only that, uh, they can bite on you and give you eczema and acne, basically. Like, if they bite on you, you know, well, not eczema and acne, but like, it could feel like eczema acne because of the bite. My God. And I got to walk back outside with that. That's a shame. That ain't nothing but a shame. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's get to it. That is crazy. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> For real. Um. All right, so let's get to it. Yeah, I just wanted to make that clear. I hope I did. Oh my God. Because <laughs> doing this stuff some time, I'd be like, did I? Did I? Okay. <laughs> All right. So it says Dalmar. And I'm making this really short today because I feel like sometimes, well, I ain't say I'm going to make it because God sometimes talk to me through the videos. I'm hoping God will allow this to be short so it can go out sooner because it gets irritating because sometimes the devil wants to put his uh, foot in it and he wants to mess it all up and and I ain't even able to send it out. And then I already deleted it. So I won't have that much storage. And then I had to make another video. And then the, I'm like, dang, can't keep dealing with that. You know what I'm saying? Can't keep dealing with that. So I just hope that he does that. But that's fine. If he don't, that's that's the father. Okay. Can't, can't play with him. So <laughs> anyway, down my heart. Okay. So when I think about you, baby, I want you here. I want to put my arms around you and feel you dear. You have touched my heart. I'm so in love. You're the only girl I'm thinking of. Oh, I call my baby on the phone. Got to leave a message just to let her know that if you ever feel alone to dial my heart. And if by chance you're not at home, you can reach me, baby, by the nearest pay phone. I got to cross my fingers and pray, you know, to dial my heart, dial my heart, just dial my heart. Yeah. Yeah. Can we talk about it, baby? Do you have the time? I said, am I'm the only homeboy that's on your mind. Woo. Cause I'm alone and I can't sleep at night until I won't. And I won't sleep until you're by my side. Yeah. I call my baby on the phone. Got to leave a message just to let her know that if she ever feel alone to dial my heart. And if by chance you're not at home, you can reach me, baby, by the nearest pay phone. I got to cross my fingers and pray, you know, to dial my heart. Just dial my heart. You can dial my heart. Just dial my heart. I call my baby on the phone. Got to leave a message just to let her know that if she ever feels alone to dial my heart. And if by chance, I just got to let you know you're not at home. You can reach me, baby, that I'll never let you go. By the nearest pay phone, I got to cross my fingers. Call me when you have the time and pray, you know, to die my heart. Baby, won't you please be mine? And then he also said, it don't matter where you are. If you, if you're near or far, all you got to do is just die my heart. Okay. So basically with that, so what I'm getting is, is that this can be going on right now and you or, um, yeah. So your spouse is saying, it don't matter what is going on in your life. You can dial that phone. I don't care what's happening. I don't care what's going on in my life. Can we please have that communication? If it's day or night, if it's a 12 hour shift that I did, whatever, you know what I'm saying? If you go on doing a 12 hour shift, you go and do this, you, you know, and it could be a lot of reasons why you're, you know, why, um, how can I explain you probably going through a lot of stuff. You probably taking care of a sick person and your family friend who, you know, uh, you probably have a busy life. You got a, um, probably you're a single parent and you got a lot of stuff to deal with your child with school or with their 
problems that they might be having. Um, you could be not well. Um, hope to God it's not what's happening, but you could be not well. Uh, you could be literally having a new house, a new car that you have to do. Um, um, you got to do, you got a lot of things that's going on in your life. You probably move in. You just don't have time. You just want to go back home, you know, eat, take a shower, sleep, whatever that could be, and just relax. And, or you could be the type of person where I know I am like when I'm sad sometimes, I'm not the type of person to try to call the phone so and people phone make myself feel better. I'm the type of person just like leave me alone. <laughs> okay, if it was a cave and it was a nice like you know uh, TV there and everything, I will sit my butt right there. Okay, do you hear me? And I will. I don't want. <laughs> so yeah, you probably that kind of person. Like I don't want to talk to nobody. So, but this person is just like, whatever that might be going on in life, I still want to talk to you. Um, and they want to be with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, it don't matter. Like, you know, and it could be to a point where too, um, you might've met your kingdom spouse, but y'all not in a relationship yet. And this, this is their emotion. So sooner or later, they might be asking you out. Um, because of that, your keen of spouse, people think like soon as cousin the spirit y'all married, don't mean soon as y'all meet, y'all just going to be like, let's be together. They don't always mean that way. And, um, it's, it doesn't mean it's going to be a fast paced thing. So, um, cause maybe your past relationship stuff went fast or it went really slow and you're thinking this going to be fast or this is going to be fast either way. If you didn't do it fast, you want it fast this time because you know that this is your spouse for certain, but that don't mean it's going to happen like that. Um, with the prodigal, that don't mean when y'all meet up, y'all going to go right back to, you know, back into that relationship. That means y'all probably going to be figuring each other out in a different way this time. Y'all are new to this, you know, again, y'all new to each other. Y'all new in Christ. So you, you got new different, um, hobbies that you might want to do. Cause you don't figure it out yourself instead of just drinking and smoking and having sex and spending money and hanging out with people and doing all this stuff, you've actually got into your isolation stage of wilderness and you actually got to get to know yourself. And maybe you do like to play um, basketball. Maybe you do like to do football. Maybe you do like to paint or sew or cook, whatever that could be, or go to the art museum or the aquariums. Uh, maybe you like to read books more. It's just a lot of stuff that you don't figured out since you got out of the world. So y'all both are becoming basically all new to each other. I don't care if y'all had sex before, y'all are new to each other still. And that could be the same thing with a prodigal that is married. That could be the same thing. Y'all are new to each other. Y'all separation. Y'all are too new to each other. Y'all are new. I don't care y'all had kids together. You're new to each other. Okay? Because when you're new in Christ, you're new. That's all I'm saying. All right? So, bet. So, what I wanted to say was, is that, okay, um, yes, that's what's going on I'm seeing. So, yeah, they're yearning for you and you're yearning for them too, but you don't, you're not expressing it in their way exactly that they're expressing it. They want to express, I would say the way they're feeling, because it's just a lot of stuff possibly, you know, you're feeling maybe uncertainty about stuff. Maybe you would like the person to call you, but you might not answer or you feel like y'all um, might not even have a great conversation because of um because of stuff you know um because of stuff that's going on when it comes to y'all prodigals and then for the king of spouses like i said some people um you know they didn't say when you get with this person you're just gonna be god and i meant they didn't say god did not say that like when you get with these people that you're just gonna be like you're gonna connect but it's still gonna be work that needs to be done so you're going to be healed to a nice degree so y'all can actually accept each other in the present. Some people, when they're hurt and broken, they don't want to be around the opposite sex. They don't want to be around anyone, really. But in this situation, you're going to want to be around them, but it's still going to be uncertainties here and there. So they're saying is, please call my phone or allow me to call your phone. Like, you can call me. We got uncertainties here. That's how that conversation. They want to have communication. You get what I'm saying? So it's nothing like, 
communicating. But I always say to you, God had a relationship with God to understand because God is a communicator. No, he don't communicate always with the auto uh, audio voice, but he does do it in other ways with phones and with phone numbers, or if you see it in a billboard, or if you see him trying to communicate with you with a verse, like for instance, like, right. You keep on saying two, eight, five, seven or something, or two, eight, five. Maybe he communicating you with the strongs concordance, Hebrew, um, biblehub.com biblehub.com the uh, strong concordance uh, maybe he's trying to do it in uh, a tv show a movie that keeps on popping up on youtube a movie that keeps on popping up on tubi or netflix maybe he's trying to communicate with you right there um it could be a song that you keep seeing a, um, something like that too on your lonely um you know <laughs> um maybe it could be like a shirt it's so many things it could be even food, to be truly honest. <laughs> it could be for you. It could be keep on seeing, like, for instance, I could say you could be keep on seeing a mustard seed. Keep on seeing a mustard seed pop up on the phone or a seed. Maybe he's saying your faith, if you have a faith is small as a mustard seed, you can do anything. Maybe that's what he's saying, basically. Like, maybe you need to read into that verse. And I said I can say that right now. Um, mustard seed. Um, and okay, I want to make sure I say this right. Okay. And that's Matthew as well. Um, wait a minute. It says Matthew on here. Oh, well, okay. So it says right here, truly, um, for truly, I tell you, if you have a faith, the size of a mustard seed, you will have, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. You know what I'm saying? And I've been seeing 172 a lot, so I believe that was a sign for me and for you, okay? So, all right, let's get into it. So, let's get to the numbers. So, 71 Strongs, let's get into that. Um, 71 Strongs, it says, to lead, bring, and carry. It says, to lead by laying hold of and in this way to bring to the point of destination. So, God will get y'all to be able to be right here. And it's going to be no out the frame type of stuff it's gonna be right there in the frame right in your face you know what i'm saying you're gonna get to that point where your values your morals his values his morals her value you know what i'm saying you yours and hers him and hers you know whatever you know, <laughs> you know what i'm saying and um y'all gonna be right in the middle and it's just like that's where he's at right now so and if y'all not y'all could be long distance I have realized a lot of this stuff that's been going on, a lot of people going to be long distance with their partners, possibly. And for many, it's reason because maybe their job is kind of far away. Um, and that doesn't mean the person's like exactly like not there. Maybe their job is far away, uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, so you got that going on. All right, let's look at something else. But that's what I'm looking at. So lead and carry. He will carry you through, lead you through this. Um, lead you through the straight paths to get to each other. And um, I just want to talk about that lead straight paths. Um, this verse I like to listen to about that. Okay. So um, this is, yes, Proverbs 356. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not on your understanding in all your ways. Submit to him and he will make your path straight. Okay, so, all right, so then we're going to do 7-1 Bible verse. So come with me, come with me. Let's get over here to this one, okay? Um, Let's get it. All right. All right, so, um... I want to say the Matthew 71, it said, do not judge or you too will be judged for in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. So during this process, do not judge your partner. Do not judge the person that you're about to be with. If you are keen of spouse that did not get with the person yet, um, or if you're already with them and it's certain things going on, you're seeing like little stuff is just like, like, I don't really like that, you know? Um, it's to the point, like, do you put your seat down on the, to like, put the seat back down on the toilet kind of irritation, or is it like, uh, <laughs> or is it like something really 
like serious like you know what I'm saying like to the point I think you are not what I was looking for you know is it that kind of irritation going on um talk to the Lord about it because it's all kind of it's small and big irritations that you probably are seeing you know I mean I don't see this toilet seat being a, like the but I just know when I get married I just hope to God he put the toilet seat down <laughs> <laughs> please my gosh all right so anyways uh but yes um that's all i'm saying though like is it that little is or is it that big that you're saying that making you to the point judge a little bit so do not do that um and the same thing with the prodigal the weight um even if you're a keen spouse maybe you're wanting this person to ask you out but they haven't did it and it's just like please go out you know what I'm saying? So it's all of that prodigal situation. Want to get back into communication. What's going on? Woo. You know, you feel like you're in a carousel. Like, uh uh-uh. And this is not the fun one. It's making me sick. Making me, you know, I don't feel good. I'm having a little tummy bug. Okay. I don't like it. So I don't want you to feel like that. And God clearly doesn't want you to feel like that either. So just don't judge. There's so many reasons why. All right. This one is Corinthians 71. So it says, therefore, since we have these promises, dear God, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit and perfecting holiness out of reverence, reverence. Let me say, I don't want to say that right for God. I don't want to say that wrong. I'll be slurring my words a lot. <laughs> reverence. Reverence. So, um, and and it means deep respect for someone or something. So, um, yes. So, God will be sitting here. Here is a stray cat. That scared the crap out of me. Anyway, so yeah, God is going to be sitting out here purifying you, purifying your spouse. That's what I've been talking about a lot. Just a lot of purification, you know, that is going to be going on. All right. So, 128. Let's look at that one. One twenty eight, the Bible verse I meant to put say, okay. All right, it says right here, Philippians one twenty eight says, "Don't be intimidated in any way by your enemies. This will be the sign to them that they are going to be destroyed, but that you are going to be saved, even by God Himself." So yeah, whatever that possibly is going on during this process. Most of the time when you have a prodigal, or even if you met a keen spouse, um, you're going to get a lot of people that do not want y'all together because some of y'all going to get people that are flirting with your spouse. It could be that going on when y'all get together. It could be a lot of flirtation. It could be a lot of um, just stuff that you is here, she say, he say, stuff going on. Um, and the enemy too could be making you when you find out what they probably did during the separation or what they did before they got with you could be possibly causing issues and that's the enemy um or it could just be when you met the person it can be physical enemies or spiritual and physical enemies could be people telling people about a lot of stuff telling um telling you about that person and it might be true it might not be true who knows you know what i'm saying all i know is is that Let's just keep that in the past because they're new. Okay. So they're new in Christ. All right. So it says right here, Luke 128, it says the angel went to her and said, greetings. You are, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Okay. You are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Do this whole process. You are not alone. Okay. You're not alone. And that's just period. Okay. So that's 128, and then we're going to look up 54. Oh, let me break that down a little bit more. I'm sorry. That was 128. And let's look up um, um, this one is Romans 128. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generosity. Generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it if it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. So if you're sitting out here um, thinking to yourself like, all right, so you're a prodigal, you're in separation, you know, or if you're a prodigal and y'all don't got back together, but it's a little friction, or if you're a keen spouse that that's with someone 
and y'all having little issues, whatever. It don't matter what it could possibly be. Still just be doing what you need to do as an individual with your mission. Because you're not only just going to be a spouse and a mother or a, a husband and a, a, um, a father. You are more than that, too. It's other things around. You know, most of the time I always say uh, a lot of my videos, um, especially in the kind of beginning, um, you are doing stuff for the Lord always, every way. And it ain't just here or there and stuff like that. And people met their spouses before they even, you know, when before they got their spouses, they were doing their own individual purpose. You know what I'm saying? So, because when you get together, y'all going to meet Adam together. So, you've been, you know, do what you have to do for yourself. Whatever gift that is, if it's singing, painting, drawing, cooking, talking to people, lifting them up, whatever that could be, being there, a good shoulder to cry on, whatever that could be do it and do it diligently okay so and then i'm gonna look up 24 strongs and um and that says uh, indignation and it says a lot of 24 i'm trying to make this video small but look like it ain't going now and i'm going all right it says feeling of anger so i just want to get a little bit more into in indignation I just want to okay indignant so it's feeling of showing anger or annoyance so yeah just get that out of you pray for that feeling that you're having because a lot of it is mostly off of impatience and confusion and fear that you're having anger to it it's weird how things steam, uh, stream from everything around like the puddles. Like it just, they all come together, even though it's in different towns and different cities. For some reason, a puddle from, I'll say a puddle from Illinois is connected to uh, Wisconsin, is connected to LA, is connected to New York for some reason with one emotion, with one thing. So, you don't know why you're feeling anger or fear and anger. It's just all these different ways. It is steaming. It's giving more um, other emotions and stuff. And you just need to talk to God about that because you just don't want to burst. And it's just not going to be a good situation. So it says, Philippians, let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. Won't you be my neighbor? So, yeah, just, um, you know, help people, you help yourself, and by helping people, you really do. And sitting out there talking to the Lord about how to deal with this situation and how to communicate with this person and how to be there for that person, whatever that might be going on in this situation, do that. Okay? All right. So, and then I also got 544. So, 5... Or four Bible verse, and it says, um, and um, mm, 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 mm. okay. So it says, John 5 4, how can you believe since you accept glory from one another but do not seek the glory that comes from the um, only God? So God is saying, connect with Him. Get in that closet or get in that living room, get in that um, bathtub, whatever that could be. Connect with God. It don't take nothing. You do hear the prayer closet a lot. And a lot of people say their prayer closet or their secret room, their secret place. And secret place can literally be anywhere. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't have distractions. Take your phone away. Take that sandwich away. <laughs> if that's the case, whatever that's going to distract you from being able to talk to the Lord, take it away. That phone, all that stuff. Just take it away. All right. And um, and it says 544, but I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. So whoever that's causing issues in this situation, that's causing you to be a prodigal, that caused you to have all of this um, baggage that needs to leave, even though you are with your spouse and it's certain things that have been broken off and it's certain things, and I said keno spouse on this one, certain things that are broken off and it's certain things that are 
you know, um, yes, yeah, certain things that that was giving me brain fog. Okay, so, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, certain things that are broken off before you got with your keen spouse, but it's still gonna be little things like little crumbs little things like you know come up here and there and have that communication so it do not linger to the point that it gets to this big cabal this big boom you don't want that so um if someone did something to you in the past let that stuff go and pray about it and i usually do my prayer is um usually i hope these people change my enemies i hope they change in the name of jesus hope they stop doing this and doing that and change and get close to god you know and if you got to do that every day, because today you might feel that way, but tomorrow you might not. You're like, oh, forget them, you know? <laughs> so you got to keep, keep on with it because that's healing for you, okay? That's healing for you. And you know, someone with all that hatred that causes you not be able to get to the gates of heaven. Let's just not do that. Um, a simple prayer can lead to other, um, lead to other um, breakthroughs. Because, man, when I tell you, like, God will show you things you need to work on. And if that's not with the spouse before you meet him or, or get back with him, or it's the spouse when you, um, before you get with them, before you meet him, when you with them, and before you get back with them <laughs> on me, okay? But, so, it says, Peter 224, he himself bore our sins in his body on the tree so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness by his wounds you have been healed you are healed in the name of jesus of whatever that hap happened with your um your prodigal you are healed you're healed okay you are healed all right so let's do the numbers right here um hold on I'm just going to look at this other number. Oh, and 224 is part of the high priest breastplate. You will be getting a protection over you from your angels. You're going to have an army of angels um, and you're going to have God helping you, you know, do this. He's um, he's going to be giving you a breastplate. So anything that's trying to come at you is going to come off your um silver and your copper and like bam it's gonna go boom go right right back out you know it ain't gonna come to me it's gonna go right back to whoever else or whatever around them it's not coming on me though you know what i'm saying whatever that who um uh, whatever enemy that is trying to sit there and cause issues especially in the spirit it is going right back to that enemy it's not coming to me you know what i'm saying like no so, yeah, it's going to beat off of me. <laughs> um, so, um, I just want to say the numbers here. It is 812, 1234, 1213, 71, 128, 202, 204, 102, 24, 17, 124, 54, 224, 544. Let's do it again. 8, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1234. 12, 13, 71, 128, 202, 204, 102, 24, 17, 124, 54, 224, 544. So I just want y'all to look at that. And God bless y'all. I I really hope the best for everybody. I've been seeing a lot of prodigal, um, you know, comments about people, and it's really disturbing. But at the same time, um, God is with everybody during this thing, and He wants this. I don't care what's going on; He wants it. Do not look with your um your carnal. Don't be carnal minded. Don't look with your flesh. Get what I'm saying? Do not look with your flesh. I don't care if other people's being cardinal minded with this promise. I don't care. This is not about y'all. This is about me and this person. Okay. Goodbye, little flies, little pests. Goodbye. So anyway, bye.